Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tim Spark and uh, welcome back to another review. Today I'm standing up just because I'm tired of sitting down. Anyways guys, today we're doing another VPN review, checking out and see if it's worth using. Which one am I reviewing again? There's just been so many. Um, it was, um, here it is. So guys, today we're checking out Easy Hide IP from a request from a longtime subscriber on the channel. Shout out to you, Leo. You've been trying to get me to review this one for quite some time. I'm not really sure why, because after the end of this review, you kind of see I don't really like it too much. But before giving any other spoilers away, let's go ahead and check out what this VPN has to offer. Now, this VPN has actually been around for quite some time. I think it's been around for like maybe like seven or eight more uh, years. So it's got definitely kind of been there a long time. It's kind of like maybe one of the first VPN providers that's kind of started popping up. You know, some other stuff like BT Guard. Unfortunately, I do think that this VPN hasn't really adapted to the modern VPN and has the kind of features and kind of services that I'm looking for in a VPN, I think. But anyways, in terms of pricing, it's actually quite good. It's only around um, only around $47 a year, $4 a month times 12, so 48. One month is only six bucks. It's got five simultaneous connections, which isn't that impressive. We're seeing more and more VPN providers go between eight to 10. Got all the default kind of payment options, a seven day money back guarantee, not as good as 30, but what can you do? Overall, the pricing is not bad. I would say it's probably a 4.5 out of five. Um, the yearly price is a little bit more expensive than some of my other five out of five pricing scale VPN, but honestly, one month is pretty good as well. Six months is also a good deal. It's just a little bit limited in terms of connections there. So anyways, let's move on to the application. So guys, how does Easy Hide VPN, Easy Hide IP VPN, that's a mouse full. Anyways, how does it do? Well, I'm not a huge fan of this application, I'm not gonna lie. In terms of its application, the quick connect features are very buggy. Let's go ahead and bring up the chart comparison so we can look at the features more analytically. Okay guys, so as this is the new kind of analysis that we use, doesn't have an application kill switch or a network kill switch. Of course, we're gonna go into the settings and we have hide identity when program starts. Um, so that's just, that's actually kind of cool. I think more VPNs should have that actually. I didn't notice that the first time. Um, applications. So this is kind of like a weird version of split tunneling. Um, it will choose the applications that should have their IP address changed. It's not entirely certain if, um, you know, and it only applies to the classic protocol, which it doesn't provide much options on. Um, but we do not see a kill switch here. Um, that's pretty much it when it comes to the application. So no kill switch. If no, uh, no network kill switch, no dedicated IP support, no wire guard, no, um, well, actually it does have wire guard on the site, but not within the application, no IP2, um, no ad blocking features. I do not believe that is so. Looking here a little more, just double check, no. Um, split tunneling, uh, I'll put yes, because it has like a weird version of it. Stocks by proxy, no. Observation techniques, um, well, um, let's see here. Doesn't really look like it. We do see some port customization, which sometimes can be useful, but no obfuscation like Stealth VPN, Toxite Proxies, or any other kind of tools that you can do to do that. Um, in terms of encryption customization, um, we do not see that. We have a little bit of options here for like TCP port, um, but there's not really much any other options besides changing the protocol. So no, uh, no, um, yes. No, script support is when you can add scripts to it. Not many VPNs have it, some do, you know, barely any, but it's kind of cool to see. Server favoriting, is that there? Um, That is strangely there. That's nice. Server configuration, well, yeah, I've used. Yes, I'm pretty sure you can change the server if you want. Um, yes, you can. It's just kind of fiddly here. Sometimes these connections kind of take a while, which can be a definitely a bit of a bummer. Um, server latency and performance metrics. Um, you don't really see that anywhere. Um, there's some logs there. I have to blur those out. But we don't see any information about their servers. So overall, no. Um, and I don't think they're going to have some of this extra stuff. I'm not going to even really bother with that right now. Um, because at the end of the day, this thing is just lacking so much. There's no kill switches, no IP2, wire guard, ad blocking features. Stocks 5, Ossification, it's mostly missing everything. It has bare bones for VPN. Not gonna give this a very high score in terms of application. I just can't. 
So guys, speed tests aren't really the most accurate representation of speeds. A lot of times they would vary. Um, but with this one, I, I just, I'm just going to keep it in my reviews from now on. I've done it this far. Sometimes you can get a little bit of information from them. The ping looks okay here. Download rate seems to be very slow. Usually, I like to shoot for like 250 to 300 megabits per second here. Upload around 40. So this one, man, it's, it's so slow that's causing me to hiccup. Let's do a download test for Ubuntu first. All right, so we've already loaded up a little bit at 10%. Um, let's see how long it takes to start on. So guys, I reconnected again later on, maybe like an hour later. For some reason it works. There is a speed we can get with this VPN though. This looks to be around the range. Usually for a fast VPN provider, I look for around 30 to 40 megabytes a second downloading this same exact torrent provider. And with this one, we're getting under 10. Honestly, guys, it is extremely slow. It's going up a little bit, but still hovering around the five to six area. So I'm not expecting much speeds at all here that you guys can really get from this VPN provider. It just seems too slow. Hey guys, now we are going to test and see if this VPN can unblock geo restrictions. Now, most major VPN providers do work with Netflix now. That's because Netflix only recently just made it so that pretty much any one using a VPN can just look at the Netflix originals. But I, what I like to do for my test is I'll look up the Twilight Zone. And if you can view the Twilight Zone with a US VPN or a server in the US like I'm using right now with this VPN provider, you should be able to theoretically see the Twilight Zone. But it looks like you're not going to be able to unblock geo restrictions here. Which basically means that you're if in the US and you want to watch Japanese Netflix content or if you're in Japan and you want to watch USA content on Netflix, you're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to pick a better streaming provider. If you're wondering which ones I recommend, well, I've actually made a list on my website, vpnterrorist.com. You can find a list of the top Netflix streaming VPNs there that will definitely help you out. Anyways, guys, on to the next section. So according to Easy Hide P, they do not collect any logs while using their services. Um, they do have some information here about like how they handle certain requests and things like that. Honestly, guys, I've never actually heard about this VPN provider. And the fact that it's so old just leads me to kind of a couple conclusions. That it's extremely small. Probably not many people are using it. And it just kind of hasn't really been working to be one of the top VPNs. I've never really heard anything bad about it, but I haven't heard anything good either. Privacy policy isn't bad, admittedly. But I just, I don't really know what quite to make of this reputation here. That thing looks like that. After testing uh, this VPN with multiple services, it doesn't seem to unblock any of them. And I'm not really surprised by that. A lot of these older VPN providers just kind of have seemed to become stagnant and not really work on things like this. Another category is live chat. Now I've tested this out a couple different times, but it seems like they're mostly usually away. So I can't give him a full points for always having active live chat, but I can give him a little bit of extra for at least having it, even though it just doesn't seem to be very active. And they probably don't have that many customer support representatives. So guys, the time has come for this review to be ended. What do I think about the final product? Well, the final score is not very good, unfortunately. The pricing here is actually quite decent. A little bit more expensive per year than I would like for the best price VPN, but $5 a month around that area is very solid. However, we're limited to only five simultaneous connections, which could definitely be better. The application, however, is extremely basic. There's no kill switches, no ad blocking, not much protocol support. It's just kind of out of date, to be honest. And even just using it, switching servers, connecting to servers feels very clunky and outdated. The speeds themselves are actually not very good either. Um, I didn't really get good speed test results. I didn't get very good torrent results. Some of the slowest speeds I think I've gotten this year, actually. It's not very good. Reputation, however, I don't really know too much about these guys. They seem to have a decent no-log policy, but the fact that I haven't heard about them in over six years of doing VPN reviews kind of makes me think that they're kind of just kind of holding on to this product and not maybe working on it that much. Lastly, they do have a live chat, but it does seem to be very intermittent when they actually have people working on it. And streaming, um, it didn't really work with any of the services, which is definitely a big letdown. So the final score is a 2.33 out of five, making it tier three recommended or uh, making it a tier three vpn provider and not recommended for full use if you want to see what better vpns to use go ahead and check out vpn tierless.com and use a tier one vpn anyways guys thanks for checking out this extended review of easy hide ip and i'll see you again next time